Now, let me give a typical example from what you have said. You said okay. your partner wanted to come back, isn't it? After Seven. the divorce. Meaning that, do you have to give a second chance? And on what basis do you have to give a second chance? Okay, so let me tell you, like I said to you, for me, um, I can understand when people say because of the children, right? But there's one thing I always say, because I only, for me, I only talk about a point, talk from a point of knowing and something that I've experienced. That's where yeah. my, that's yeah. how I can only speak my truth. And that's where I can relate very, very candidly. So um, when a partner wants to come, for me, I actually, let, let's start from there. So for me, I actually felt that, you know, so there's, when, obviously when you break up or when there's a situation or a circumstance that arises, you're hoping for the next time that there would not be a repeat of that, right? Yes. You're hoping for the best, you've discussed about it, it's not gonna happen. But then when there's a repeat and even an upscale of the repeat, you mm -hmm. kind of start to think, so what is going on here? Does this person even take, you know, this relationship seriously? Mm -hmm. You know, you start to question a lot of things. So um, having someone wanting to come back to you after they've left doesn't mean it's a good thing, right? You just have to know what you want. For me, um, I tried, and I know, you know, like I'm sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, and whenever I think about it, I know I tried my level best, right? So I know with what I have at the time, I tried my level best. And that doesn't mean that because I wanted my son to be in a home where he lived with his mom and dad meant that I had to put him at risk with the potential that anything can happen or there has to be a situation. So if someone wants to come back, you have to look at the plus and minuses of everything. You really have to sit down and think, is this worth them coming back? I tried it, not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, because we were married. Like I said, I was trying to see what I could do and maybe believing and trusting and thinking, maybe next time it would be different, right? We all hope for the best, mm. but, when the next time and the next time and the next time, and then you just kind of, you get, there's something called mental fatigue. You just get tired of the same thing, an upscale of the same thing. So I think if anyone is going through that situation and they think, you know, should I go back because of the children or because of the child? I, you know, I don't have that sort of thing where I think, okay, you know, it's, it's not a, Single parenting is not an easy road to say the least. I don't want to belittle it. I don't want to say it's just as easy. No, it's a really tight rope. So we need to not really just say, oh, it's okay. You know, I can do it on my own. It's not an easy journey at all. And it's not for the faint hearted. But there are times where you have to draw the line and say, is this worth it? And do I need to keep repeating the same situations and the same issues over and over again?